Now I speak with Director of the Center of European Studies and Senior Lecturer of the Political Science Department at the University of Ghana, Dr. Kwame Asa Asante. Doc, I'm grateful for your time. Quickly, what are your thoughts on the call by the Majority Leader? Good afternoon, Aisha, and good afternoon to your viewers. I think I support the call. It's a good one, and it should have come a long time, but better day, uh, late than never. Um, you don't need a bigger size of government in order to deliver, no. You need very efficient, competent people who will have ideas and then will want to implement to assist the president uh, to deliver on his promise. That's all. So I am happy that all these, while well, people have advised the government, but government has turned deaf ears to this thing. So I'm happy that it's coming from the majority leader that it means that they have reflected on all the suggestions people have made. It's a good one. Because, see, I shall come to think about it. Let's look at a country, Britain, one of the richest countries in the world, has 104 uh, paid MP, uh, sorry, ministers, paid. The people will pay them, 109. We have unpaid ones, 14. Even you put the two together and consider that you are talking about a country which is very rich, then uh, why do you have over 120 something for the first tenwa and then 80 something in this tenwa? It, it doesn't help anybody. Look at Nigeria. Let me uh, bother you with a few statistics. Look at Nigeria, a country with about uh, 206.1 million people as a 2020 census. They have ministers of 44 ministers. Let's look at South Africa, a country with 59.31 million people, they have 28 ministers, 30 deputies. Look at Rwanda, which is, you know, causing a lot of sensation in terms of what? The improvement of their economic lot uh, on the continent. They have 20 ministers, then uh, ministers of state 10, making 30. All right. Why do we have want to have this elephant type of what? Government size. It doesn't help anybody. So I am happy. Uh, that we are looking at this and it's going to help. And it's not only uh, for ministry appointment. We should also look at what? Positions such as what? Deputy CEOs. We have so many in this country and, and we pay them. Why do you want to waste resources on that? Not only that, we have special aids attached to ministers and all that. All these things, we must have a second look at them and then you know consider the public purse and then deal with that uh, uh, very effic efficiently. Mm. Let's look at even a vehicle administration, the, the, the cars that we buy. Can't we have a pool of cars where ministers, if they are traveling, can go there and then take one and then travel with it and come and return it? Mm. We, we spend all our resources buying all these things. And then I want the lawmakers to also consider, uh, you know, trying to understand and then come out with the certain laws that will also look at the size of the Supreme Court. Mm. Because look at mighty America. They have nine Supreme Court judges. Here, what we have is something that we must, you know, trigger the conversation and look at whether uh, we want to maintain uh, the, the uh, want to put a cap on that so that uh, uh, we, we also manage our resources efficiently. Doc, this efficiently. is not the first time we're hearing this. I mean, is there the political will to do so? If you ask me, the answer is no. What would it take for us to be able to do this? I mean, civil society, you and I must continue to put pressure on government and so that the government will do the need for. And even now, you don't, the government doesn't need to sit down for us to put pressure on it in order to do the need for, simply because of the economic condition that the government finds itself. So the government must, on its own accord, do the need for by reducing some of its ministers, and then listen to some of uh, the things that people are saying. Let us remember that government or uh, governance is a dialogue thing. It's a give and take. So it's not a monologue. So when we speak and make suggestions, government must listen, put rapt attention, and put these things into practice. Dr. Sassante, I'm grateful for your time this afternoon. He's Director of Center for European Studies and Senior Lecturer at the Political Science Department at the University of Ghana.